Hello and welcome back to one more episode of Quantum Tutorials. In this episode, let us understand about how to implement processors in fabric layer. Within fabric, while you are configuring integration services or orchestration services or object services, you have the capability to add your custom code into the fabric. For example, let's say if you want to do some processing before executing an integration service within fabric, you will be able to add your custom code in the form of preprocessor. Similarly, after an integration service call is executed, if you want to do processing on the response which you have re received in the integration service before sending the response to the front end application you will be able to implement your custom code in the form of post processors so pre processors would be working on the inputs that are received into the integration services or orchestration services or object services and you can process those inputs and then take a call whether to go ahead and perform the integration service call to the backend system or to interrupt the flow and go back to the front end application without performing the integration service call to the backend system. Essentially, the preprocessor works on the input parameters that are received into the fabric from the front end application and the preprocessor returns a boolean either true or false. If a preprocessor is returning true, it is an indication to fabric layer that all the processing within the preprocessor is successful and fabric can go ahead to perform the service call with the backend system. If the preprocessor returns false, it is an indication to the fabric that something went wrong within preprocessor while processing the input request and fabric should not go ahead to perform the service call with the backend system. Instead, return back to the front end application conveying the appropriate message. A post processor works on the response received into the fabric from the backend system. Within post processor, you can process the response further. For example, if you want to change the structure of the data present in the response before handing it over to the front end application. If you want to add some new parameters into the response, you will be able to do that as well. So within post processor, you will be processing the response received within fabric from the backend system and that processed response is what that is returned back from the post processor to the fabric layer. Fabric receives that processed response from the post processor and it will send that processed response back to the front end application. So this is essentially what we do as part of pre-processors and post processors. So let us look at an example for understanding this in detail. 